Hi, I'm Dr. Jurgens from Grady Veterinary Hospital, and I'm here to talk to you today about human medications that are toxic to animals. Um, we actually see this quite commonly, um, either animals that, that get into pill bottles, you know, either on a counter or, or in someone's purse on the ground, um, but also sometimes people will intentionally give their animals human medications and, you know, they figure it's, it's safe for me to, get to, to take this medicine, so it's okay to give my, my dog or my cat. Um, but animals actually metabolize a lot of drugs differently than we do, um, and, and the dosage requirements for these drugs are actually very different as well. Um, so we can see a lot of problems uh, with medications. Probably one of the most common medicines that we see people give their pets are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, um, such as ibuprofen, which is in Advil or Motrin, or naproxen, which is in products like Aleve. And while these medications are pretty well tolerated in people, um, they actually can cause very significant toxicities in pets, such as ulceration of the gastrointestinal tract, the stomach or the intestines, and they can also lead to decreased blood flow to the kidneys, which can lead to uh, acute kidney injury or even kidney failure if, if it's bad enough. And so this is definitely something you should never give, uh, give your pets, even if you think they're painful. Another non-steroidal anti-inflammatory is aspirin, which actually works a little bit differently. And we do occasionally use it in veterinary medicine for its anti-clotting properties to prevent formation of blood clots. Um, but that's in very particular situations and at very particular doses. And so definitely not something I would recommend uh, giving without the advice from your veterinarian. Another medication would be Tylenol, um, and Tylenol is not only very toxic to dogs, but it is extremely toxic to cats. A very, very low dose is required to cause very serious effects. It uh, can actually cause oxidation of red blood cells, meaning that the, the red blood cells are destroyed, and that leads to a lot of problems uh, with, with oxygen carrying capacities, and, and the body isn't able to get enough oxygen or red blood cells. It can also lead to some pretty serious liver damage or liver failure. So, you know, these, these are just some of the, the, the common medications we see people giving to their pets. And uh, a lot of times it is because they think their, their animal is in pain. If you think that your dog or your cat might be feeling some pain, I would say um, call, your, call your veterinarian, call us, and we can, t can take a look at your animal and, and give you uh, further recommendations on medications that are safe, are approved for use in animals, and then the correct dosage to give um, so that we can, can try to help your animal uh, be pain-free.